happening right now. A killer on the run after a disagreement turned deadly. News Channel 5's Cuthbert Langley has been following this one for us all morning long from the Midtown Police Precinct in Cuthbert. Good morning. Any description of the suspect so far? Good morning, uh, Steve. What we know right now is that police are searching for a man seen driving away in a blue Dodge Charger. But when it comes down to an actual description of the suspect himself, that information is not really being released at this time. Police say they are still interviewing people right now, trying to piece together what happened last night. What we've been able to learn throughout the morning is that the shooting happened around 7 last night at the Park at Hillside apartment complex near uh, the Edge Hill area. I'm told two men were arguing there in the parking lot that fight escalated to the point where the suspect pulled out a gun and started shooting multiple times. One of those bullets ended up hitting the victim and then the suspect sped away from the scene. As you see here, emergency officials were there. They rushed the victim to an, to an area hospital, but he died a short time later. So police are still working to figure out exactly who the gunman was. They say right now that the victim was 34 years old at the time of his death, but they're not releasing his identity yet. That information has to come a little bit later on in the day because officers are still in the process of notifying the victim's family. So right now, police are relying on tips from you at home. If you know something about this murder, give Crime Stoppers a call at the number on your screen, 615-74-CRIME. We're live here at the Midtown Police Precinct this morning. I'm Cuthbert Langley, News Channel 5 HD. All right, Cuthbert, thank you. Armed, dangerous, on the run. If you can help investigators catch him, you might earn a lot of money. Michael Sales is who we're talking about, wanted for homicide of Carlton Carruth. Investigators say that Sales shot and killed the 19-year-old during a fight outside of a game room in Fayetteville on Sunday. If you have any idea where Michael Sales may be, call Crime Stoppers there at 931-433-STOP. And Steve, the search continues for the two men caught on camera robbing a gas station in Franklin. It happened just before 5 yesterday morning at the Mapco on Goose Creek Bypass. We're told they roughed up the clerk, even fired shots at him as they left, but they missed, thankfully. As you can see, the men tried to hide their faces as well. Now, however, less than an hour later, these two men were spotted at a Nashville gas station. Investigators think they are connected to the robbery. They were seen driving a black car. If you know who they are, call Crime Stopper 615-794. 4, An apartment complex needs some repair this morning after a fire near downtown when crews showed up at 2nd Avenue South last night. Smoke was already coming from the rooftop patio. The flames were quickly put out. Only minor damage. No word yet what sparked that blaze. Not much is left, though, of a Murray County home after an early morning fire yesterday. How much did you guys lose, unfortunately? Everything. Everything. Like a whole two generations of memories and all our belongings. Pictures. I just bought a new guitar last week. It's yeah. gone. Sloan Cheatham tells us that he woke up. Flames were shooting from the laundry room around 2 in the morning. Fortunately, he was able to get his girlfriend and sister out before the home on Pulaski Highway was engulfed in flames because crews had to use water from tankers. It took several hours to put out the blaze. That home is a total loss. The Kentucky County clerk that refused to issue same-sex marriage licenses is still behind bars this morning. And in just a couple of hours, a presidential candidate will lend the embattled clerk his support. Allison Harmelin has the latest. Lord, we're going to pray until the door. Open. Today, Republican presidential candidate Mike Huckabee plans to visit Kentucky clerk Kim Davis in jail, where her supporters protested over the holiday weekend. Pray for Judge David Benning to repent. Protesters also gathered for several hours Monday outside the home of U.S. District Judge David Bunning. They're urging him to release Davis. Kim Davis is unlawfully being held in jail right now and being prevented from doing her job. Bunning sent the Rowan County clerk to jail last Thursday after she repeatedly defied his order to grant marriage licenses for same-sex couples. Davis says doing so is against her religious beliefs. On Monday, Davis's attorneys filed an emergency motion that asked Kentucky Governor Steve Bashir to accommodate Davis's religious conviction and not force her to issue licenses to same-sex couples. One of her lawyers sees an easy solution. For the uh, court or the state of Kentucky to remove Kim Davis's name off of the marriage licenses and to allow someone other than her to sign these licenses that do not bear her name. 
Last week after Davis was sent to jail, her assistant clerks issued licenses to same-sex couples. Supporters of same-sex marriage argue that Davis should do her job or resign. Allison Harmelin, CBS News. Davis's attorneys say she spent the holiday weekend in isolation reading her Bible as, and is in good spirits.